So people are pretty much flipping out over positive coverage given to Kim Jong-un's sister. Let me show you some headlines here. This, this one's from Mediaite. New York Times, savage for article praising Kim Yo Jong. Her brother runs concentration camps. And here I'll show you another one from Mediaite. CNN slammed for a glowing article on Kim Jong-un's sister. She's starving her country to death. So, um, I get it. I get it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird that you would do like, oh, she's such a good speaker. Or man, she is graceful. About somebody who's part of a family that's starving their own country. And is a giant tyrant and a dictator. I get it. It's, it's damning with faint praise. It's like, oh, you're so polite while like you're massacring people. So there's a logic there, and that lo it, it makes sense. There's no denying that. Um, but you know what nobody talked about? Virtually nobody talked about the opposite extreme scandal. So if you say any good word about anybody in North Korea, people flip out. Okay. Uh, well... Let me show you this video of what people on Fox News like to say about what we should do to North Korea, and then we'll talk about the non-response from everybody in the country. The way you eliminate the North Korean nuclear program is to eliminate North Korea. I would love a diplomatic option, but also the option to flatten them is on the table. I would hit them first and hit them hard, knowing that it will be bloody and ugly if we do so. And President Trump did exactly what you do when you're dealing with a bully and a tyrant. He faced him down. He said, you know, that's a nice hermit kingdom you've got up there. It'd be a shame if it turned into radioactive rubble. The first thing that you said was to reintroduce weapons to the area. What did you mean by that? Well, I mean tactical nuclear weapons. We'll annihilate North Korea after we're dead? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we have to do something now. Th there's, there's merit in a preemptive strike. Time, time is, is on, on their, their side. side. We have to do something aggressive now. But we can overthrow Kim Jong-un's regime. If we have to, we'll just wipe them off the face of the earth. I mean, you hear investors talk about this all the time. Mm -hmm. It takes nuclear weapons to take them out. You use nuclear weapons. But you don't do it half-heartedly. You don't give your enemy a chance to react. They will need a Geiger counter to find Pyongyang. Newt Gingrich was talking about kinetic answers last night. We could wipe out all their power. You know, we'll just take them out and that and that'll be that they have no way to really impact our economy and we have the military capacity to devastate it very quickly north korea may be a nuclear state but is it is lilliputian the president has said it secretary mattis has said it we will destroy you uh that didn't generate any outrage or backlash or anything like that no nobody was talking about that we we did a segment on it of course nobody else fucking talked about it so, you compliment the sister of the tyrant. Oh! Look at what they're doing to their own people! How dare you say good word about them! At the same time, our pundits casually say, quote, eliminate North Korea, flatten them, hit them first, Preemptive offensive strike, you know, that thing that's illegal under international law. Uh, turn them into radioactive rubble. Annihilate them now. Do a preemptive strike. Wipe them off the face of the earth. Use nuclear weapons. Gee, they're, I, I, they're not being clear enough as to what they want to do. Uh, quote, take them out. Quote, devastate them. So, we get to call for nuking a country. And by the way, when you nuke a country, you're not just going to get Kim Jong-un. You're going to get him and hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of innocent North Koreans. So, we get to talk about committing a genocide against innocent people in North Korea. And the response is, fucking crickets! But everybody's panties are in a bunch. Because we care so much... We have humanitarian concerns about the people of North Korea, and that's why we're so upset when you praise the sister of Kim Jong-un, because we care so deeply about the people who they're starving. Well, maybe if you cared so deeply about them, you wouldn't fucking yawn when one of the three biggest news networks in this country 
repeatedly talks about massacring innocent people in that country. That's the shit that fucking pisses me off about this. Is how any kind of outrage that serves U.S. power uh, is, it's absent. Or, excuse me, outrage that's directed against U.S. power is absent. So it's almost like everybody's already grandfathered into their thinking, well, if we massacre innocent people, it's fine. But, oh! You're praising the sister of the person who's a brutal dictator, therefore... You don't care about those people. Well, clearly, you don't care about those people if we, you sit by idly while one of the three major news networks always talks about obliterating an entire country and massacring civilians. So spare me your fucking fake righteous outrage of like, Oh, I can't believe we think of the people in North Korea, the ones I was just fine with nuking last Wednesday. Fuck you. Fuck you. So I get it, like, I wouldn't have written such a weird article, like, Oh, she stole the show! Ugh. I wouldn't have done that, but... You know, I also wouldn't casually talk about obliterating an entire country. Listen, guys, two things can be true at once. One of those things is, North Korea is a hellhole, and, uh, the government brutally and viciously oppresses their people. They can't even turn the fucking lights on at night, people are starving, there are hard labor camps, all that's true. You know what else is true? Um, there's nothing we can do about it. If you try to uh, do anything against North Korea, they immediately take out Seoul, South Korea. There's nothing you can do about it. And they're not going to wage an offensive strike against us. They're not going to wage an offensive strike against South Korea. They know that they have no power whatsoever compared to South Korea and definitely the United States. They know they'd lose like that. So they're not going to attack us. So what are we going to do? There's nothing we can do. It's not our place either. The fuck, it's not our place at all. The only time we should use unilateral U.S. forces is to protect our country. So it's not our place. They're not going to attack us. So there's nothing that can be done. So both things are true. It's true that their government is terrible, and it's also true that if we were to wage an offensive strike against them, we would be 100% wrong, and that's also illegal under international law, and we shouldn't do it. So, I know, the world is a nuanced place, and it's hard to wrap your mind around all these concepts, but that's what the reality is. So, I, I don't- I hate the double standard of, like, we're gonna pretend- we're gonna feign outrage, the media is, and some people on Twitter, we're gonna feign outrage, righteous indignation, on behalf of the people of North Korea, you know, uh, when they praise Kim Jong-un's sister, but you're not gonna care about them when our people casually talk about bombing them. And by the way, it's not- just Fox News. This is just the mashup, the smorgasbord of uh, what happened on Fox News and how they say it all the time. But it's also Donald Trump threatens all the time on Twitter. Only one thing will work. We've tried everything else. Only one thing will work. He's talking about war. Um, and it's other politicians, too. It's other Republicans, pol politicians. Henry Kissinger, of course, not a Republican politician, um, but a war criminal. He casually said the other day, yeah, we're nuking them is tempting. What? Tempting? What the fuck? That's vicious, man. That's vicious, and that's gross. Um, so, yeah, just spare me your fake outrage. That's all I'm saying here. Spare me your fake outrage. If you're going to be mad about praising of Kim Jong-un's sister, I hope you're mad about our media and our politicians regularly calling for obliterating the entire country and killing hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of people. Because if you're mad about one and not the other, you're a hack.